true peace and maybe even true happiness are going to be very elusive. But uh, I worked hard to get functional, started grief counseling right away, and that's, to me, that is the, the bar. Like, it may seem like a low goal, but to me, that's a really high bar. Like, let's just get and stay functional. State Senator Christine Marsh is opening up publicly for the first time about her boundless grief after the death of her 25-year-old son. She told me that Landon Marsh died of a drug overdose back in May after he made what she described as a really bad choice one weekend night in Tucson. Now Marsh is on a mission that she believes Landon would approve of, giving people the help they need to stay alive. He was really a very, very tough I call him a kid, he was 25. Landon Marsh was a newlywed and a mechanical engineering student. It doesn't ever go away. His mom, Senator Christine Marsh, says Landon made a really bad choice. True peace and maybe even true happiness are gonna be very elusive. He bought a street drug laced with fentanyl and it killed him. My connection is very, um, very close to this bill that I'm running. Uh, to try to save some lives. Granules of fentanyl hidden in a drug can be lethal. Marsh wants the state to legalize so-called fentanyl test strips. Some very smart people who use drugs uh, in other parts of the country were able to determine that they could test the drugs themselves. Haley Coles of Sonoran Prevention Works says they're like urinalysis strips that can detect the presence of fentanyl. He would want me to do everything possible to help others. Like the now widely used naloxone, the strips could prevent drug overdoses, like the one that claimed the life of Landon Marsh. From shortly after he died, I could just picture him saying, you know, Mom, suck it up, get with it.